we have a new problem here. Find the true shape of the plane. This one's a little different than the last true shape of a plane problem in that this one, I'm looking at the two views of a triangular plane, a, pla a, a plan view and a front elevation view. Neither of these has an edge view. That was an advantage we had in the previous problem. If you have an edge view, you can uh, project across that edge view and, and get uh, a true shape of the plane. We don't have that in this case. So, uh, you know, I'm going to put that as a note. We would like or we need an edge view and uh, of the plane in order to do this. And uh, so if you don't have an edge view, uh, you can get one if you have a true length line. Uh, that may not be clear right now, but we'll see how that works. So uh, what we would like is fi to find or create a true length line. And uh, yeah, so we would like to find or create a true length line. And uh, as I say, you'll see why that is. That'll help us get an edge view. Um, we don't have an, we don't have a true length line. I'm looking at this right now. We're going to have to create one. How do you know you don't have a true length line? AC is not true length because I look across into the plan view and AC is not parallel to the folding line. And that's the case with any of these line segments, AB, CB, uh, AC. None of them in, in either view is parallel to the folding line. So uh, if you're wondering what, how, what that has to do with true length, go back to the true length line uh, uh, video. But... Um, Right now, what we I can see we need to do is we need to create a true length line. And I'm going to come down here. I've got to get my straight line tool. Uh, let's see. With my straight line tool, I want to go straight across here. That's uh, parallel to the folding line. Uh, that itself is not true length. But if I project across, oh, before I project across, I better label this point. That I, I'm going to make it clear that there's a point there. And I'm going to label that point D. And I'm going to project straight down. I need my straight line tool again. Okay, uh, my projection line didn't quite go all the way down, but I can see where it's landing here, and uh, it's right there, and um, there we go, oh, shucks, and there we go, we have, uh, I'm going to label that point D, oh, by the way, why did I land on BC, why didn't I stop my projection at AC? Well, if you look here at BC, that's where D is. D lives on BC, so it, it projects down to BC. That's why I did not stop at AC or put the point D where it crosses AC, the projection. And uh, so that's 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 good. Okay, so to get a true length line, I don't have it yet, but if I take my straight line tool here, and I can come up here, to point D. Very nice. That is a true length line right now. That line segment, I'm going to label it AD. AD is a true length line. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to move this view up. We'll lose the instruction up there to find the true shape of the plane. But what I'm going to do at, at this point. Now that I have the true length line, I'm going to project through the true length line. This is the next step. Project through the true length line. Um, let me actually write that. Project 
through, we'll see what that means also, the true length line. Uh, that may be coming off our screen, so let me put that word down here. Project through the true length line. Uh, I'm going to project through that line AD, the true length line. It's kind of tricky the way this works. I'm going to have to swing it around that way to get a projection through here. That's pretty good. Okay, yeah, that's right through there. Then we need, if we're going to project through that, uh, well, what we're, that's what it is to project through it and uh, through the true length line. And then what we do there after that is we, we're going to create a new view. We'll get a color here that will indicate a new view. We get a new view. So I need a folding line perpendicular. There it is, perpendicular to my true length line. So this is... You know, I'm just indicating that's perpendicular there. Uh, okay, so this is our new view. We're calling it Ox View 1. And that's pretty nice. Now we get to uh, uh, project points C and B through the same, uh, into the new view. So there we have that projection, and then a projection from C. Okay. Those are my projections into the new view. And all right. So. I need to know whether, uh, let's start with C at the top here. I need to know in this new view, does, is C close to the folding line? Is it farther away? We, As we do with each one of these examples, we skip two fences or we skip two folding lines. I'm skipping into the front, uh, am I, I'm in auxiliary view one. I skip into the front elevation view. That's only one folding line. Now I skip a second time and I go into the uh, plan view. And I'm looking for the distance to C. I want the distance from C to the folding line, not from C to C. Some students do that. Not from C to this folding line. I've seen that happen. From C to the folding line that I skipped to get into this plan view. I skipped into over this folding line here. So that's the distance I'm going to grab. I'm calling that D1. And that's my first distance. Uh, that distance on my uh, screen here um, is three eighths. Oops, very sensitive screen. Three eighths, right there. That is C. I'm gonna. I, I don't like writing in, in uh, red there. So that is uh, point C. That is D1. I just copied that same distance. Doing the same with B. B is, I guess I'm, I could have done A, but I'm doing B right now. I'm measuring it, I'm going to measure from here, how far in from the folding line will B go? Is it close or far? Will we skip two? We get into the plan view and we see B is going to be the farthest point away. From the folding line to B. That's going to be my distance two. So I'm going to measure that. And uh, that's point B there. <coughs> that's point B. And now I need point A. And you're going to see something happen when we find point A. Uh, point A, we skip. We're, we're here. We want to know from the folding line how far in do we go. And uh, I skip into, into the front elevation view. I skip a, the second folding line into the plan view. The distance is 
this is my distance three. By the way, I see I didn't indicate distance two down here. That's the distance I copied to B. Now I'm copying a distance to A. This time I'll get the right color first. And I see A lands right here. Ah, oh, shucks, come on. There's my point A. Um, okay, what you should see, and I'm a, I can see it looks like I'm probably a little off, and that's that happens. We're not using. I'm not. Uh, I'm trying to do this on a tablet screen. So you can see I'm a little bit. Well, I'm not. I don't have my line straight through the. The points exactly either, but you know you can see there's a little bit of uh, yeah you know, we're not using uh, technical pencils here we're sharpened just right and all of that and I'm not I'm doing this on a tablet screen so those are all my excuses for not for the not having it very accurate okay well what we have just found though I hope you appreciate what this is this is an edge view of the plane. That's an edge view of the plane. So now we're in great shape. Um, I think what I'm going to do to uh, help this out, I'm going to lose these guys because I'm going to need, it's going to get kind of messy if I don't. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folding line parallel uh, to the line we just created. And we're going to create a new view. Whoops. We're going to create a new view. So I need a parallel. There's my parallel to the edge view. What do you think I'm going to do next? Uh, uh, let's also take this down so we know that this was auxiliary view one. And so what do you think I'm going to do next? Uh, if you're saying we're going to project into the new view, we, uh, as I say, uh, that was auxiliary view one. Now we're in auxiliary view two. Auxiliary view two here. Uh, I'm going to project again. I'm going to project into auxiliary view two. At right angles to the at right angles to the nope there it is at right angles to the folding line. Okay, there's our projection lines. And uh, I'm trying to use the lightest color. I wish I had a lighter color for those projection lines. But on this tablet, I've found using the tool is, is uh, pretty useful. Okay, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to get rid of this because it might be confusing some people. That was an old right angle indicator for the old projection line. Okay, so now we have these new projection lines. What am I going to do? I hope you know. I'm in auxiliary view two. I want to know whether B is close to this folding line or further away, somewhere in between. I'm going to skip that folding line. I'm going to skip a second folding line. I'm going to measure the distance to B right here. That's, I'll call that right now my, uh, you know, because we already had them before, let me get rid of these so, again, it's not confusing. I can do that. And then here, 
what we have is a new distance one. And uh, notice how, yeah, I, maybe it would have been better to keep that uh, a projection line, but anyway, distance one, you want is along the projection line, and I'll be uh, doing the best I can to measure it. Ah, oh, shucks. Yeah, the screen's very sensitive here to my touch. Okay, let's see. So that's distance one being copied there. Okay, it's from the folding line to B, from the folding line, and this will be B right here. You know, and so you just repeat this for A, B, and see, now you see that in the view, A is going to be pretty close, because when I skip here, I skip here, see how close it is. And uh, there we go, it's, you know, it's like a quarter inch here for A. That'll be my distance. Really, it was copied from this, so that's distance two, and I'll label it here distance two. That's A. Let's keep it in the dark color here. And C, a little further in, right there. And so that was distance three. Distance three there. Okay, now we're ready to complete the picture of the true shape of this thing. Hard to massage this thing just right. That's yeah, looking good. I think I went a little too far. There we are. All right, that's the true shape of the plane. Let's label it TS. You see it's bigger than any of the other triangles. That's the true shape. And... Uh, you know, if you needed to measure it, uh, you would find the, to get the area, you'd uh, take half the base times the height, you know, with actual, your architect's scale. And uh, so that's, uh, that's how we get the true shape of a plane when we don't have an edge view already.